Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the South and North Island stout-legged wrens, the largest of the endemic New Zealand wrens that, due to their larger size, were hence more vulnerable to extinction once people arrived. I hope you enjoy. Stout-legged wrens were the largest of the New Zealand wrens, with there being two distinct species in the genus encompassing them, known as Pachyplicus, and alongside two other members of their family, Acanthicitidae, were flightless, indicators by the breastbone being small, with a small keel, alongside the pectoral girdle and humerus being slender, something highly unusual among passerines. Described in 1988, they have been found in sites across the country, ranging from lowland mixed podocarp forests, whether they be the relatively wet western forests or the drier eastern ones, as well as up to alpine scrublands. Their morphology indicates that they were strongly adapted to a terrestrial existence, appearing to have been versatile forest dwellers, having long legs, toes, and poorly curved claws, which had large muscle attachments, which anchored to a heavy pelvis, which suggests that they mainly stood on flat surfaces, more so on the ground, logs and stumps, rather than being perched on twigs and branches. This is further evidence from the fact that they are commonly found in fossil sites, that represents pitfall traps, something which would otherwise be very unusual if they had some capability of flight. They were likely insect eaters, but also occasionally taking seeds, berries and fruits, likely foraging alone or in pairs and potentially small family groups, from what can be referred from their living relatives. They are also found in laughing almizens, where they are a particularly common prey item, showing that they were quite common when they were around. The largest of all of the endemic New Zealand wrens, their bills are also short and their cranium less depressed, giving them a more rounded appearance. Genetic evidence has indicated that they are nested close to the genus Xenicus, which comprises the more gross old rock and bush wrens, which shows that they must have evolved from a more gross old legs ancestor. There are two known species of these stout legs wrens, being the North and South Island stout legs wrens, and there are some differences. The North Island stout legs wren, P. Jagmai, is the smaller of the two, having an estimated weight of around 45 grams. They also have the additional common name of the Grant Mackey's wren, honouring Dr. John Grant Mackey an Associate Professor for Geology at Auckland University for his contribution to avian paleontology. The second species, the South Island stout legs wren, P. Yeldwani, is the larger of the two, around 50 grams, also having the common name of Yeldwin's wren, named after Dr. John Yeldwin, Director of the National Museum of New Zealand in Wellington, and like the former example, was done so in recognition of his contributions. Recent finds suggest that there may be more size variation that was at first recognised, and there may well be only one species, although while these critical comparisons have not yet been made, it's definitely worth looking into. Regardless, because of their small size and flightlessness, they likely died out soon after Polynesian settlements, with the also introduced Pacific rats, having little trouble in tracking them down and wiping out whole nests and populations. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Rybill, small and pale plovers that are unusual, among all other birds, in having a laterally curved bill that does so always to the right. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.